Firefighters and other emergency personnel from all over the state lined up to pay their respects as firefighter Roy's body was moved from the hospital to the medical examiner's office. WBZ's Bill Shields is live tonight in Boston where an honor guard greeted the motorcade. Bill? Liam, we're on Albany Street. The medical examiner's office is right across the street here. And today at midday, when Chris Roy's body was brought here, the whole area came to a stop. Cars stopped, pedestrians stopped, many of them put their hands over their hearts. It was, in fact, very heart-wrenching to watch. It's, heart it's heartbreaking. Um, I know uh, some of the people that are on the Worcester firefighting um, staff, it's, it's, it's heart-wrenching. It is something no one wants to see, the body of a firefighter arriving at the medical examiner's office. Firefighters and police from Boston stood at attention as the body of 36-year-old Chris Roy came to Boston. Pedestrians on Albany Street stopped and watched silently. It's heartbreaking. It's, I can't believe like stuff like that can still happen. It's, it's sad for the families, too. They say Chris Roy wanted to be a firefighter for years. And when he got the job in Worcester two and a half years ago, he was overjoyed. I heard the news yesterday morning about firefighter Roy, and uh, it, it was the first thing on our mind is make sure what we can do for him and his family. And it, it gives us a, a great feeling that we could do this for the family and the people of Worcester. The medical examiner did the required work quickly. Then the remains of firefighter Roy were taken back to Worcester. Stacy Alessio watched with tears in her eyes. Her husband is a Holyoke firefighter. It's it's emotional. I bet. Yeah. Well, you must think about your husband. Absolutely. Yeah. All servicemen. It's important. It's a big thing. As I watched all of this today, I was struck thinking about how. The month of December is so cruel for the Worcester Fire Department that eight firefighters since 1999 when the cold storage fire happened, eight in December. Reporting live from the South End, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.